The Normans. The Normans invaded England in 1066 and soon ruled the Saxon and Viking English, the Welsh, and the Irish. They also wielded power and influence further abroad. The Normans were Danish overlords who lived in Normandy from 900 onward. They had absorbed Carolingian and Christian ideas. There were not many of them, but they were tough warrior lords. William the Conqueror was crowned on Christmas Day in 1066. In France, he was only a duke, but now he was also the English king. Norman rule. After the Norman invasion of 1066, many of the English protested. William put down rebellions brutally, taking English land and giving it to his Norman nobles. For them to rule in these local areas, he gave land to the church in order to gain its support, replacing English with French bishops, and he encouraged French traders and crafts workers to settle in England. The Normans built castles, churches, monasteries, and cathedrals, and many towns grew up around them. The nobility spoke French, and the ordinary people spoke early English. A central administration and tax system was established, and a tax assessment of England's land and wealth, the Domesday Book, was made. Norman rule was harsh. They were mainly interested in wealth and power, and used England as a base for foreign adventures that the English had to finance. However, England developed economically, and within 100 years, the Normans began the invasion of Wales, Ireland, and Scotland. England was changing. Its landscapes, town, and culture were all influenced by the Normans. By 1140, there was a disagreement over who should rule the country. This weakened the king and strengthened the nobles' power. A new Norman dynasty, the Plantagenet, was founded in 1154, and its first king, Henry II, ruled England and half of France. During this time, the English class system dominated by nobles began to develop. The Normans in Europe. The Normans were also busy elsewhere in Europe. Around 1060, Norman soldiers under Robert Guiscard invaded Sicily and southern Italy to support the Pope against the Byzantines and Arabs. As a result, they were favored by the Pope and often protected him. In the 1200s, they became the leader of the Crusades. Through political marriages and by serving as knights, papal agents, bishops, and royal courtiers, Norman lords formed a feudal network which became very influential across Europe in the 1200s. In these feudal relationships, a noble who pledged allegiance and gave military support to a king was rewarded with lands and titles. These nobles then ruled estates and provinces, demanding loyalty of their followers and in exchange rewarding them with lands and positions of power. And so feudalism that started in France became established throughout Europe.